Hello, Veteran Owen Twin here, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Yeah, this Let's Play is going to be Final Fantasy Dimensions, and I had never heard of this game until uh, the first video of my Final Fantasy IV iOS Let's Play that I did. Somebody commented and was like, oh, since you got an iPad now and you got the iOS version of Final Fantasy IV, you're going to do Final Fantasy Dimensions, right? And the first thing that popped into my head was, what the fuck is Final Fantasy Dimensions? I hadn't really paid too much attention to it. I'm just like, huh? And I just kept on doing what I was doing. I recorded the rest of Final Fantasy IV. And, uh... Yeah, I actually uh, googled this game. They said it was a brand new game. Uh... It's supposed to play a lot like Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy V mixed together. And it's supposed to be in the vein of the of the uh, two-dimensional Super NES titles. Like, you know, Final Fantasies IV, V, and VI. So I figured I'd give it a try. So yeah, I, I have played a little bit of it, just to see a little bit of it. But I haven't played more than 15 minutes of this game, so this is going to be a pretty blind let's play. Idealistic Avalonian Empire. Okay. And yeah, this is uh, this game is split up into chapters. I guess kind of like the After Years. Um, you do have to pay for the chapters. The things I have heard about this game is that people are bitching and complaining about the uh, the price tag for this game. But, you know, I, honestly, I only paid like $15 for it. Maybe they were bitching about the initial price tag. Because, uh, um, I, I think they were saying it was like $30 upon release. But, if it's a 40 hour plus game and it's a good game, that's well worth the money in my opinion. And, uh, who the hell is that guy? This noise, I can almost feel it. So it looks like a giant tree by a village or something. And what's this? I have no idea who that character is. The time has come. Let us go, Sigurd. Whenever I hear the name Sigurd, I always think of the character from Xenogears. Always. And from, I've, from what I've heard uh, of the music so far, I kind of like it. Does this guy want to be a sp sky prior to something? Is that why he's like... A strong, hot-headed youth from the small kingdom of Lux. Dreams... Okay, so he is like Vaughn from Final Fantasy XII. Yay! And this character's name, his default name is Soul. I'm going to keep the default names. I don't like renaming characters. And who's this guy with the ponytail? Ow. See, I'm not sure what year month this game came out, but God, I can't believe I didn't hear about this game before. Okay, and this character's name is Glive, or Glaive? Glaive, Glive, whatever. I, mean, I guess I'll go with Glaive. Of course, I could be pronouncing it wrong. It's entirely possible. And we have a blue-haired little girl. 
A cheerful young woman has a loving older brother, treats Soul like a kid. So yeah, they I like how they introduce the characters in this game kind of like they introduced them in uh, in Final Fantasy VI. So I'm seeing a little bit of Final Fantasy IV, V, and VI kind of rolled into one already. You know, with the five uh, character parties, and yeah, I believe there, from what I've heard in the reviews, there's also a job system in this game as well. So yeah, this game, I, I, like I said, I played 15 to 20 minutes of it. I kind of explored the first town, and uh, it looks promising. Your brother. Who's your brother again? Did I miss that part? I, I think I might have missed that part. Oh, but of course, I'll protect you. Okay, so these three want to get recruited by the Empire? Or something? How to play. There are three ways to make your character move. Tapping the screen when it does not display a directional pad causes the screen to display a directional pad where you tapped. Tapping the directional pad while it is displayed will move your character. The pad will stop displaying after you have not tapped it for a period of time. Slide. So I, <coughs> excuse me. Sliding the screen will display the directional pad, enabling you to move by sliding your finger across the pad. Fixed. A directional pad is always displayed in a fixed location on the screen, tapping the pad. Now, nah, see, I'll probably go with the slide option. I don't, I don't know if Final Fantasy IV had that option or not, but... I guess I'll go to my configuration here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to like default. I think I'll go with slide. Because, uh, that's the stuff they go for and um oh that's the control setting in Final Fantasy 4 I believe automatically battle mode yeah I want wait um cursor location I guess I'll go with remember I kind of like that um battle speed no nah, I'll keep that normal for now I think background mode Original and arrange? I don't get what, there's different versions of the soundtrack? I'll just go with the original. Yeah, I'll just go with the original, I guess. I don't know the difference between the two. I mean, I've never played, so I don't know. Okay, so we have three jobless characters here. Equipment. Let's look at their equipment first and foremost. Okay, we got a short sword, leather shirt, staff and a cotton robe, huh? Short sword, leather shirts. Do we have any jobs? Doesn't look like we have any jobs yet. Okay, that's how to check our stats. Different equips. I guess since we're jobless, we can equip any type of uh, weapon or armor we want. Similar to Final Fantasy V. We don't have any items. Row. Okay, so it's not like Final Fantasy IV where you either have to have two uh, people in the front row, three people in the back row, or invert that. I always thought that was annoying in Final Fantasy IV that you can't just, like, you know, for example, put five people in the back row. You can't do that in that game. You gotta either have three in the front or two in the front, and that's it. They don't let you deviate from that, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, I think I'll keep this guy in the front row for now, because uh, it looks like he's a physical attacker. 
Uh, ability. Counter. Sometimes counter attacks when hit by a physical attack. Sometimes. And we have ability slots here. Huh. Ordered by acquired job. Ordered by tie. Oh. So you can change the. I don't know what that means. No magic and skills. Aha, what's this? Okay, Diana knows level 1 white magic. Cure Libra and Poison Arm. And Glaive doesn't have shit. Okay. So I guess that's everything we can go over for now. So. If I look at my map, it looks like there's something to the north of us, which is, I think, a town, so let's go. Oh, back attack against a couple hornets. Ow. Hey, this game's got the victory fanfare, so it's already more like a Final Fantasy game than Final Fantasy 13. Alright. Actually, let's check out this castle. Castle Lux. Can we get anything in these, uh, statue thingies? Secret items? That sort of thing? Hmm, looks like we can, uh... I wonder, I wonder if we can get to the moat area. I wonder if that's possible. You know, like a secret passage or something like that? Oh, maybe not. Hey guy, not you again. How many times do I have to tell you the castle isn't a playground? Oh, well, how old are we? How are we? Uh, how old are we supposed to be right now? You know I can't let you kids into the castle. Go back home to your mommies before I have to kick you out. Oh, huh, okay. Well, I guess kids aren't allowed at the castle. It's unfortunate. All right, this is the village of Lux, I guess. So let's take a look around. Southern checkpoint. Yeah, I was headed there, but uh, decided to explore the town first. Yeah, what jerks, man! They won't let us play there either. They rode dragons. Oh, okay. So, kind of. I wonder if they're like the dragons in uh, in Final Fantasy V, the Hiryu's. But yeah, I actually found something there, huh? That's pretty cool. So I guess this is one of those games where you have to check, like, everything, right? I don't like how this game so far doesn't have the nice little, uh, exclamation point, you know, when you're close to something. I know that Final Fantasy IV, uh, for this version of the game, had it. Or... Final Fantasy 4 for iOS had it. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Alright, let's check out the inn. There's no need to fear monsters anymore thanks to Avalon's new checkpoint. It was kind of the Emperor to allow Lux to keep its sovereignty. When we were annexed, I was worried something might change. Uh, well, I bet you we're gonna go see it. I'll let you know how it is. What? This game doesn't allow you to just. Okay, I guess the game doesn't allow you to just jump in bed. Hey, guy. At least the end's cheap enough. I don't think I need it. So yeah, I, I saw this game and I 
saw a couple video reviews for it and it looked very good it looked like a game that I would like and you guys might like seeing so I figured hey why not I'll go for it it's a brand new game so well not brand it's brand new to me it's not brand new I guess it came out maybe last year but yeah I hadn't really heard of it so all right we get a maiden's kiss figured now that I have an iPad I might as well you know sample the games that you can get for iPad and yes I know Final Fantasy 4 the after years is coming out for the iOS and Android uh, ooh a silk robe but yeah I'm probably not gonna get it just for the simple fact that I've already let's play the after years twice I mean I'm not gonna let's play it a third fucking time I mean I made an exception for for the iOS version of Final Fantasy 4 because I just wanted to redo my DS let's play and that's the only reason otherwise and that's the only re let's play that I'll ever do like when Final Fantasy 6 comes out for this I'm not gonna let's play that either because I've already let's played Final Fantasy 6. I'm pretty happy with that let's play. So I'm not going to do it again. But yeah, I got a silk robe, I guess. And I gave it to uh, Diana. Makes the most sense, right? I mean, she's the one that's uh, kind of like the white mage, I guess. She, or, she's not a white mage. She just starts out with cure magic. Ooh, this is Glaive's father. Hey, Glaive's father. I'm liking this town music. Take care of my boy kids. Oh, okay. I'll try. Yeah, but uh, a lot of people are complaining about the, uh, <laughs> excuse me, the Final Fantasy V port uh, to iOS and Android. They're saying they didn't like the sprite design or whatever. I honestly don't think it looks that bad. It kind of looks like this, I guess. But... I don't know. I don't know why people are bitching so much about it. I don't think it looks that bad, or and that either that or they're bitching about the uh, the avatars, you know, for the dialogue. They don't like the character art. Well, honestly, I don't really have a problem with that either. I mean, it's Yoshitaka Amano's original art style, and you know what? I don't have a problem with it. It's better than fucking um, what's his face, Tetsuya Nomura's craptacular character designs for some of the later games. And, uh, I don't think I'm gonna buy any equipment. I have a feeling it's one of those deals where I'll actually find it. Hmm. Broadsword, huh? Nah, I'm gonna hold off. On equipment. Where haven't I explored already? Did I go in here? I can't remember. This is Soul's mother, huh? Excuse me. Ooh, I found a leather hat. Nice. Yeah, I don't know where this stuff is. I'm just kind of wandering around finding it. Okay, so who should I give this to? I guess I'll give this to Soul. She can have a little bit better defense. Ooh, a Phoenix Town. I like those. So, which one is my room? And can I examine the sign here? Guess not about this bed would you like to yes I'll rest awesome so yeah don't use the inn in this town I guess because you don't have to you can just sleep in your own bed for free it's pretty nice huh so 
So, did I go in this house? I don't know if I went in here yet. Per wait. Yes, young ones have all the energy in the world. Can I talk to you? I hear that chocobos live in the northern forest. I wish I could go ride one. Oh, really? Ooh, 100 gil, nice. Can we examine the fireplace too? We can't do that? Come on. Are we gonna get like an ouch dialogue or something? I shouldn't leave that out. Yeah, okay, I think I've explored everything then, huh? Maybe I could, uh... I don't know, is there a way to get over there? No, I guess not. Alright, so that's it for the town, so we can either go, I'm looking at the map now, and it looks like we can go to the north, the northeast, see like a purple icon up there, I wonder what that's all about, I wonder if that's uh, the chocobo forest that that little girl is talking about, I don't know, I guess let's go there, actually I'll be right back. Well, I'm a little over 20 minutes, so I might as well just end it right here. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy Dimensions. In the next episode, I think I'm going to head to the north of here. See what that purple dot is. I don't know if it's supposed to be a chocobo forest or what, it, but I guess we'll find out in the next episode. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.